Hey guys! Most awesome cupcake here and welcome back to Fallout 4. Um I know you'll achieve great things here. We all do. <sighs> Something about when we went Something like dressed in yellow, talking with a synth. Nothing to report, sir. <laughs> Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Hello. Hi there. Quentin is such a liar. How would he know what the surface is like? He's never been up there. I have. Pardon me, sir. What? Hi. Report anything suspicious to the SRB. Okay. Make you proud yes. to see all that Father has done. All that he has built. <laughs> Good afternoon. <coughs> Food products you are really need all purchase. these coursers Would roaming the halls. Hello. Just as you gave life to Father, Enrico, he I gave life to many of us. And two more start to fail. At least I'm not. I hope it'll be yours, too. I found her. Excuse me, doctor. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father okay. told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Sean. I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Fast travel. Nice. Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug <sighs> deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I what hope the I'm there to see it. A clean and healthy work environment is essential to maximum productivity. You are fucking creepy. Move! And... Sean is in here somewhere, right? Fill up, I would guess. Let's 
saw that. <clears throat> Sean. Sweetheart. Where you at? Forgot about the elevator. Sean, Sean, Sean. Ow. <sighs> Need a new chair. <sighs> Too far up, man. Shit. And down we go. Oh my god, come on. If I jump, will it work? Go down faster. Oh my god, I am not a patient person, holy shit. How can you play like this? Get in, get in. In! Sean! There's a lot of hubris around here lately, and I don't care for it. Sean! When are you going to tell me about this mysterious phase three? You know I can't talk about that. Dad says I'm as good as he is with computers. Sean! Sean! Am I just completely blind here? Looks like I found it. Broken. Useless. Useless. So angry. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute first, uh. what do you think? Hey. First things first, how do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You are not a prisoner here. You may come and go as you please. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be dangerous without proper supervision. 
The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. Yep. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. We'll bring that synth home. That would be best for everyone. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. Okay, so... Persons continue to nerve the others at first. I thought they were merely intimidated by his confidence and arrogance, or perhaps even afraid of his general being. Killer is, after all, a killer. But also, I've continued to witness the reaction. Gosh, there are so long run of the two smells, and I should have anticipated jealousy. Killer is living memorial to a forgotten program. He's an augmented human being, a cyborg, really, and the benefits he's received cannot be denied. But the scientist here could not care less about enhanced reflexes or greater combat efficiency. No, the cause of the envy is. is. things about myself and past either way I cannot afford to let emotion get in my way get in the way I must simply observe observe and record I've told Kellogg told Kellogg has gone off offline strangely I find myself thinking of Dr. Walker he has such high, high hopes for Kellogg such faith in the implants and what they could mean I still regret am I this courser yeah where do I meet up with the courser you should get going there's no time to waste where is he Can I just fast travel? Out we go! I guess. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's a little late. And I'm recording this.
Oh, holy fuck, hey. Seems to be growing well. No one's gonna care about the fact that I just came back out of nowhere. Okay. Stages? Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? Sure. Sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah. Keep your shirt on. Yeah, uh, okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, oh. You building a collection or something? Shut the fuck up. Sturgis! I think that I got rid of the stuff. Got a lot more ammo. There, okay. Can it wait? No. Here's that hollow tape you gave me, full of institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. What do you hope to find? Whatever the institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. Nice, Here, right? Yeah, just want to make sure. Go! <sighs> it's gonna be happy. I think. I hope. Well, you know, we helped each other. Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing. And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? He's got it right here. That's it. That's really it. 
right? Let's see, let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Incident okay. radiant is and high. Serve. Recombinant counter intron sequences that. look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. That's good. It is. But there's only one way to know if it works. Try it. All right. Here we go. And now we wait. How long? Oh. How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days, maybe a week, and... Well, I guess we'll see. Okay. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Of course. Thank you. You're welcome. Yum! I should try and go to the castle now. Let's see how it's going there. I really want Preston back, actually. I don't get where Preston is. I don't get either. Is this a better time for that talk? I understood. And I appreciated your trust in opening up to me like that. Oh, good. I guess I was more coherent than I thought. It's just... I was ready to give up. I didn't care if I lived or died anymore. At least not for myself. And it was because of you and who you are that turned things around for me. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. I still can't do that, can I? Have you ever thought about us becoming more than just friends? Have I ever? You mean <gasps> you've also? Oh, Hold on. Okay. You kind of caught me off guard there. Let me start over. If you're asking if I've ever thought about you romantically, the short answer is yes. But I did never imagine that you could feel the same way about me. I mean, I know she's gone, but you still seem to be in love with your wife. I didn't think you were ready to move on. It's getting dark out there, people. Stay safe. All quiet, which is how we like it. Stay safe out there. I'm willing to give it a try. If you are. You are? Really? That's... <laughs> That's fantastic. Wow, I, uh, well, I don't really know what to say. We don't need to rush things. I'm just happy knowing that what I felt, that it was real, that it wasn't just in my imagination. <laughs> You're gonna have to give me a minute to just enjoy this feeling. Uh, hey there, is there something you need? I love you. Come with me. I need your help. You got it. You two go do the Commonwealth proud. 
We'll try, Nick. I'll hey. head for home, then. Good luck. Yeah, you just stay here. This is Radio Freedom. Good. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen Alerts. Nick. Time to hit the... Time to hit the road again? Get back to the hunt for Eddie Winter? Hey, point it out. Go check that out. Okay. Let's trade. Sure thing. No. I'm so happy. <laughs> to end the episode here so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next episode so bye